Hello everyone, my name is Sprinkle Soup and welcome back to your daily serving of awesome. I think we're finally going to be finishing up Outlast. Just maybe. We might be able to finish up with the destruction of Billy. Or Wall Rider, whichever he prefers. We read in our documents that he, uh, he has two different forms of life support. So... Well, he has three. He has two major ones that it seems like we're gonna have to personally shut down. Well, this is busted. Oh, hello? What's up? How did you get all the way down here? Yeah, a lot of fun things did not happen back there, did they? Okay, so he has two, two things we're gonna have to turn off and then he'll have a backup, which I'm wondering if that'll be on here. Yeah, film this stuff. And then we'll like come back here and turn it off. Yeah, the failsafe system isn't activated and can't be turned off. So we're gonna turn off two things. I'm sure his little nano self will be pursuing us. Because I mean, otherwise that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? So I'm sure we'll be pursued. And then we'll have to come back here and turn it off and that'll be the end, maybe. Well, thank you for the battery. I guess that means there's gonna be some darkness ahead, huh? Well, that's locked. The other side locked? Oh, well, I guess we're not starting this way. Let's run over to the other side. Alright, well at least this play is lighted. Life support and fluid reservoir. Um, are they gonna, gonna both be this way and then maybe we'll leave that other way? Who knows? Some people... What even is that? I don't know, but something got really, really smushed into the wall. That's not going to be us, though, because we're going to be awesome, right? Got some notes on that, huh? Let's take a look. This is Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all. Break it all. He has to die. Well, yes. Yes, he does. Otherwise, he's gonna get out and about, and he's just gonna keep making little more nanobites of himself, and then everything will be kaput, won't it? Except for Wernick. As Wernick's his dear old Pop Pop, and he loves him. Which is very nice, a very nice sentiment that he's capable of at least that. Ah, uh, so we're gonna be able to just mosey on up there, eh? Just mosey on up there and turn it off. I'm sure he won't mind. I'm sure he won't be mad, and then we'll have to make a great escape, huh? You know? It's in there, so where am I gonna go? I bet something's gonna happen. I have to... Am I gonna be able to jump down from here? Cause that'd be... That'd be nice, but this seems more like... Oh! Oh, that's the valve port. Okay. Can I go in here, then? Or am I just gonna be running back? There is stuff in here. A document! Okay. What does this have to say? Uh, from the personal records of Dr. Wernick, who certainly loves his Frankenstein. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example. How dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. You know, that's true. I guess if you're just happy with where you are, that's a lot better than trying to reach something that you really can never actually reach. I have that problem sometimes with trying to be a lot more than where I am and getting really discouraged when I'm not. That's okay. We all gotta accept, accept where we are and how we are. Do not turn the valve. Interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient. Oh yeah, Billy's, Billy's not gonna be too happy about this, but we're gonna turn it anyway because, I mean, what else? We have nothing else that we can do. Me. That sound is like, Miles, you better get the heck out of here. Yep. That sounds like unhappiness. I think we better shut this. It's getting that quick pace music going. 
I mean, I suppose he can just travel through the vents, can't he? Can I go through here now? Bye. Hope you don't die, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Wow. Uh, gotta fit through here. Oh, he can fit through there pretty fast. I'm just running because I figure no matter what, Billy would be able to find me pretty right quick anyway, wouldn't he? That and the music's going, which to me adds a sense of tension that inspires me to run very quickly and get this stuff done. Because Miles is like an Olympic sprinter. Not really, but he's a lot better at sprinting and movement than other games. He doesn't just pass out and start walking after three seconds of good old sprinting. We got it. Woohoo! You know, I almost feel like that, that just, like, gave it to me. That's an unpleasant sound. Oh! Ow! Did it catch up to me? Well. Can't catch up to me now, darn it. I knew I heard the wispy wispies. It, I, I now can't go through those little airlocks. So are we good? No more. <laughs> when, when you don't know what to unplug, just unplug all the things. It will assuredly do what you want. Can't stop filming though. Anything worthwhile? No? Hey, Bill Bill. I'm coming back. Unfortunately. I don't want to. You're not feeling good, I know you're not feeling good, and if you were smart you'd be in the big main room to protect that final switch, yeah? Ooh! -hoo. Hi! How you doing? We're not in a good state right now. Owie. Well, that's some broken bones, I'm guessing. Time to keep going. And we're not gonna stop filling, as we are the most epic journalists ever. We can't have gone through all of this to stop filling you. We're gonna catch all of the story. If you were last in here, you can probably go through the vents. It's probably doing nothing, but I feel better about closing the doors. Billy, I got one more button to press. I just gotta stick my hand on it. There's a witness still there. Doesn't- does it work? Ooh! Oh! You sh Hi! Ow. I was gonna say, you probably should have killed me back there if you didn't want this to happen. Owie. How long does it take? It's filled with blood in there. I mean, I guess... Ooh. I'm, I'm being very violated. I feel quite violated. You dead yet? Looks like you stopped moving, but... I hope I'm not a host or something? I was very much violated by some nano things. New objective, get out. Wasn't that my objective? For this whole time. We're a little wobbly wobbly. You're dead in there, Billy. I'm gonna say that you're dead. That guy over there. Was certainly a good witness, wasn't he? Uh it's the best way to get out, back the way we came. Am I gonna be walking like this for an eternity? Can I sprint? Not really. What are my notes? Death and Pope. Billy is dead. The wall rider, the swan, whatever it is, I'm made with him. Whether I escape or die here, I am free. That sucks. Don't worry, Miles. Keep going. Maybe. Ooh, yeah, something, something ungood happened being hit by those tiny little things. I was gonna be like, aliens are gonna just burst out of our centers? kind of cool, actually, but... Oh, Miles. 
We're seeing this through. You can do it, bud. God, this is like the, the end of The Walking Dead. You know, spoilers when Lee's not doing so hot and you're trying to get him to go. I'm like a little Clementine here. Like, you can do it, Miles. Don't give in. I'll guide you to safety. Where? I'll hobble you there. I'll hobble you to safety. It's a door. All right, another collapse. You know, maybe the like how the game always had like this kind of grain over it. No matter what, like even if you weren't in your film, it's always kind of grainy. Is like an extra level of artistic representation. Ooh. Well, are the blood is hovering? Oh no. Becomes a host. The host. Jesus, God, what is that thing? Oh, oh, that's sad. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so he transferred just in time that it didn't matter that we killed the main body. What kind of stupid experiment was that, huh? They're like the dumbest experiment ever. Yeah, you know, we want these automated little nanobots to go and fight everything, because that's awesome. But we better make sure that we have very sufficiently insane people to do it, because reasons. Maybe there's a more scientific thing, sci scientific thing behind it that I'm just not understanding. But I can't even begin to see a good reason why you would be like, yes, we will have insane people to guide these things. So I'm sure we'll be able to control that. I'm sure we can have a very good, strong grip on insane people, right? Stupid. Stupid. What's gonna happen with all the footage that he got? Because that'd be interesting. If it ever got out of there. I mean, if the wall rider's leaving and then, heaven forbid, someone somehow will get there and end up there and find that, that'd be fascinating. And so that was like, what? A SWAT team came. So, more people, well, I guess they'd have to, because the initial when they sent them in, I didn't know how long ago that was, but it would make sense that it actually wasn't that long ago. All the bodies were really fresh throughout the game. And, uh, that tactical team, we saw them get wiped out, so presumably then they'd be like, huh, we never heard back from Squad A. We probably need to send more people. <laughs> but, that little good that did them, huh? Do I have to sit through all this? No. That seems like that was it. That's the game! Happy end, everyone! I think. There's some DLC, and I'm like, eh, I don't know. There's some other horror games that I am looking at playing now that this is completed, which I think I'll give a go before I would do DLC for this. I think it's pretty short, but I don't know. Maybe if I find out if it adds enough stuff to the story, I'll take a look at it. But otherwise, please look forward to some very interesting new horror games. I want to discuss this game with you, please. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this delightful trip through Mount Massive Asylum. Uh, the next game that I play will not be Outlast 2. That'll be coming a little bit later. I want to take a break from the Outlast world and style for something a little more artsy and unique, and you'll see what I mean when I put it out. But otherwise, yes, any questions, any discussions you want to have about this game, I'd love to talk about it. This was really my first horror game that I ever played and completed. All that good stuff. Let's chat, huh? Let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and a like if you like, and a sub if you love. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!